we want to do something before we turn this to Brother Patillo. And I will, again, I will say I appreciate Brother Patillo taking his time out to come be with us today. If you've never heard him, he's going to bless your sock talk for a little while. And my lovely assistant is coming. And we're going to have a drawing. Can I get somebody to bring this over so we can see it? Brother Josh, you can off the close there. How many, how many of you saw this last week sitting up here on the, on the stage? It was just an old plain drab brown color. And my wife uh, restored this. And uh, you got to tip it forward so you can see the top of it. It says faith on it. And you could use this as a nightstand instead of an altar there. Or if you want to put your little uh, pillow right there, you could use that as a little prayer bench and just put your Bible notes right in there. Whatever you want to use it for. Isn't that something? That old drab brown end table turned into something beautiful. Isn't that awesome? You may think that you're not worth anything, but I got news for you. God can turn you into something beautiful. He can. You may be a piece of coal, but God can turn you into a diamond. We believe in a God that restores. Amen. And before we do this drawing, because I know after the drawing I'm gonna lose your attention. So <laughs> I want to read this scripture right quick. This is this is my message today. Just get, don't get used to a short message like this. It won't happen very often. Then in Jeremiah it says the, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go to the potter's house. And there are there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessels that he made with clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again in another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. I got news for you. God wants to do a great work in your life. Jeremiah 29 and 11, he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are good and not evil. I want to tell you, regardless of what the world tells you, regardless of what Satan tries to tell you, God has a plan for your life. You may have made a mess out of it, but God can renew you. God can restore you. And, and another thing that really just jumped out at me in this, I, 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 I just was, I was waiting, I've been waiting all week to tell you this, is that sometimes not only does God restore, but sometimes God repurposes. Hence, an old nightstand turned into something to be used for a totally different purpose. Don't put limits on God, amen? Don't tell God what you can and can't do. Let God decide in your life what he wants to do with you. You may have had a purpose for years and years of doing a certain thing, but if you'll allow God to take you back to that potter's wheel, he can repurpose you and have a new use for you, amen? And, uh, we got to done a good job, didn't she? Give her a good hand. I appreciate that. This is a new child she tapped into here in the last few months, and, and I'm just proud of her. We've got some other things. We're going, oh, this is her next project. Okay? There's an old, an old one. She's still working on what the repurpose of that is. But uh, anyway, got them all mixed up in there really good. Okay, we're going to draw around that. Danny Barnett. All right. You paint with it or you can leave it there and do it later. Next Sunday we're going to have a drawing on part of our, our series on messages uh, on uh, restoration. Amen. And, and, uh, Easter Sunday will be our last message on restoration there. And I, I think that's the greatest restoration of all to restore us back. Amen. To where he wants us to be. Amen. Praise God. Uh, it's, I just want to acknowledge uh, my 
His actual name is Guadalupe, but we've always called him Uncle Rod. And my Aunt Ruth Rodriguez, they've been pastors uh, for over 50 years, I understand. And uh, they've been pastors down in South America and here in the United States. And I think they recently retired, right? Finally retired after all these years. And it's so good to have them. Uncle Rod, would you like to greet us this morning, sir? Well, I want to congratulate the church for 55 years. Yes. Calls me home, or, or he moves me, whatever it takes 
Basically, I plan on being here a long time, but I'm just, I appreciate you here that come and back us up Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. That just thrills my heart. And we're not going to do the drawing for lunch this morning. Normally, we draw out the, the uh, what do you call it? The bulletins that you take notes on. But go ahead and put your bulletins in again, and we're going to draw next Sunday. I tell you what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna buy everybody's lunch here today. Is that all right? <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I may come to worship the Lord today. Amen. I may come to 